Welcome to a new video and as we can see I have downloaded the FPS template provided from Unity and what we're going to be looking at today is building a pause menu. So if you download this exact template you should already have a pause menu. However we are going to take a look at how we can build this inside of Unity. So this is what controls the pause menu inside of the game and what I'm going to do is just simply disable it. So now if I hit play and try to pause the game, it should not be working. As we can see, I'm hitting escape and it's not working. Okay, that's perfect. Now what we're going to do is create a empty game object and call it something like pause menu. Inside the pause menu, what we're going to need is a canvas. So inside the pause menu, go ahead and create a new canvas. Here is our canvas. Now whatever we put in this canvas should show up over into our display. So now let's go ahead and put an image and it's going to pop up right here. So now all that's left for us to do is to build a some kind of a menu that will show up over here. So I'll do that and I will be right back. Okay so what I've got in here is a very very simple pause menu and it has two options. It has a resume and it has a options. So now the last thing that we're going to need is a very simple script to control all these. So we're going to hit create new script and we're going to call it pause behavior. Okay, so now that we got a brand new script inside our game object, all we're going to have to do is just open it and populate this script. So we have our start and our update, which I reckon you are familiar with. We're going to delete both of them and we're going to create some new slots in here. So first of all, we are going to need a reference to this child object. And since it's the only child in here, what we can do is reference it via scripting. The next thing that we're going to need is to reference this game hood. So this obviously shows all these options in here. So we're going to have to enable or disable this one. So to do that, we're going to need a reference to this game object and in this game object. So let's create that. Let's say public game object game UI. And for the second one, we're going to need this pause menu. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to say public game object pause UI. So for the game UI, we can just go ahead and drag this and drop it into the slot in here that will be created later. And for the pause, we're going to create, we're going to get it via scripting. So to do that, we're going to say start. Into the start, we are going to say pause UI is equal to transform dot get child in the index of zero because it's the first child dot game object and semicolon. Okay, now in order to listen for a key press, we're going to use a update method. So just write update and there it is. There is our update in here. So into the update, we're going to say if input dot get key down key code dot maybe we want to say escape so if we press escape we want to pause the game so in here we only want to execute one function and that is time scale so in order to say time scale is equal to zero we are going to copy that and we are going to put that into another function so the function will be called pause game and down here we are going to build that function we're going to say public void pause game and inside the pause game we want to set the time scale to 0f and then in order to resume the game back into time scale one we can't use this same function we are going to need another public void resume game and inside the resume game we want to say time dot time scale is equal to one okay now let's save this and go back into unity and in here we should see two game objects that appear and all we're going to have to do is drag in this hud in here and this should automatically get the child object so now let's hit play and let's see if it actually works so as we can see it has actually gotten the canvas and i accidentally pressed escape and as we can see we cannot move so that is a good thing that is actually meaning that it's working so now the last thing that we need to do is to enable this and disable this immediately so back into our game when we set the time scale before we do that we want to set this game ui to be 
disabled and we want to set this ui to be enabled so let's do that let's say game ui dot active dot set active true or actually we want to set this to false and we want to set the pause ui into true and we want to do the exact opposite into resume game so we want to set this into true and this back into false so now if we've done everything correctly this should work so let's hit play and let's see if we've done everything correctly so now we can play the game and if i hit escape we should see our menu is popping up if you want to stop the cursor from aiming around after you pause the game this is what you're going to have to do so back into your pause menu what you want to do is use these cursor locked state so you're going to say cursor dot lock state is equal to cursor lock mode dot none and then you're going to have to do the opposite when you resume the game and instead of saying none we're going to say locked so now if we go ahead and hit play after we hit escape we should see our mouse just moving around so now let's build the resume function and that is actually too simple we're gonna have to go into resume button and down in here where we say on click we're just gonna hit this plus we're gonna drag the pause menu down into here then into the functions we are going to look for resume game right here so now this all should work fine so if we hit play we can play our game just fine if we hit escape we should see our pause menu and if we hit resume the game should resume just fine so now we we can go and we can kill our enemies so thank you for watching and uh, i will see you in the next videos